how much you would have made if you have invested $1,000 in Tesla back when it went public. It wasn't that long ago, just 10 years ago. Take a guess. $10,000, $20,000, $30,000. Well, 10xing your money or growing it by 30 times is great, but that's not even close. If you have invested $1,000 in Tesla on March 7, 2011, today that investment would be worth almost $120,000. Your total profits from that investment today would equal $118,829, with an annual return of 61.26%. Investing just $10,000 in Tesla back in 2011 would have turned you into a multi-millionaire. Investing $100,000 in Tesla would have earned you more money than you could possibly spend. But it was a big bet. I mean, Tesla is valued this much because of Musk's unbelievable marketing skills. If you take a look at the numbers, Tesla is valued based on what it could potentially achieve in the next 5 to 10 years. The fear of missing out has led many investors to invest in Tesla. But the question that we want to focus on in this video is, if you have an extra $10,000, where should you invest it? What are your best options? First of all, if you have managed to save $10,000, congrats. Not many people can do that. Most people barely save any money for an emergency fund, and even if they manage to save anything, they quickly splash it on unnecessary things. Just take a look at the data. Most young people have a negative net worth. 69% of US adults have less than $1,000 in savings, while 34% have no savings at all. So with an extra $10,000, you can consider yourself in the top 30% of the wealthiest Americans. And now the question is, where do you go from there? What should you do with that $10,000? Is there a way to double or triple that $10,000 or maybe grow it to millions? We will answer all of those questions and many more. But before we do that, give this video a thumbs up that it deserves and here is a little disclaimer. This is not financial advice, and everything that's said in this video is for educational entertainment purposes. And now, let's dive in. Number 1. High Risk Individual Stocks The stock market can do wonders, especially when there is a company that is about to disturb a certain industry. In a matter of 10 to 15 years, the stock market can grow astronomically. I'm not talking about 10 or 20 percent, but rather about a few thousand percent. Amazon, for example, since it went public in 1997, has grown by 212,000%. That's more than any other stock. $10,000 invested in Amazon back in 1997 would have now worth $21.3 million. But Amazon is not unique. There are plenty of companies that had grown similarly. Best Buy is another example. Since 1990, Best Buy has generated a total sum of 108,000% or about 26.2% annually. A $10,000 investment in Best Buy in 1990 would now worth $10.9 million. It's easy to feel bad for missing such an opportunity, but you should not, because there will always be the next hot stock. Every single day, dozens of startups emerge trying to disturb everything. So one way I would invest an extra $10,000 is by throwing it into a few tech companies that seem to have a chance to revolutionize a certain industry. I wouldn't choose just one because I could end up making the wrong bet. But splitting it into 3-4 companies could end up into a real fortune over the long run. Number 2. Hold it until an opportunity strikes. One of the biggest obstacles I came across is the fear of missing out. Every single day that I keep the money in my bank account means that I'm losing money. Because first of all, inflation devalues the real value of my money. And secondly, I'm missing the potential returns I could be making even from just throwing it into the S&P 500. But what I have learned after making multiple mistakes is, don't rush. If you're missing a market rally, it is alright. The market will jump up and down all the time. Don't try to take advantage out of all small opportunities. Focus on the big gains. If you're not sure, just keep your money. Remember Buffett's two most important rules of money. Number 1. Don't lose money. 
Number two, never forget the first rule. Sometimes there comes an opportunity when you are 100% confident that it's one in a lifetime opportunity and that $10,000 could turn you into a multi-millionaire. That's when you should invest. Number three, Roth IRA. We sometimes complain about how rich people avoid paying taxes by creating complicated schemes. We blame the system for being corrupt. However, there is a simple way that anyone can avoid paying taxes, but they don't. A Roth IRA is an individual retirement account that you can use to make investments and pay no taxes on them. Wait a second, no taxes? How is that possible? When you get paid, you pay taxes on your income, so your income has already been taxed. If you use that money to invest through a Roth IRA account, your income is not going to be taxed again, no matter how big your investment is going to grow. Let's say you opened a Roth IRA account in 2011 and invested $1,000 in Tesla that has grown to $120,000 by 2021. You absolutely have to pay no taxes on that if you hold that money until the age of 59.5. You can withdraw your initial investment, which was $1,000 in this example, and still avoid paying taxes. But if you want your gains not to be taxed as well, then you should keep that money until the age of 59.5. It is free, easy, and you should do it as soon as you can. The only problem is that you can only contribute to Roth IRA account $6,000 or $7,000 if you are 50 or older. Let's say you're 20 years old and you invest $6,000 out of that $10,000 into the S&P 500 through your Roth IRA account. Next year, you do the same thing and keep repeating it until the age of 60. You will end up with $3.2 million that you don't have to pay any taxes on. In fact, every year you can withdraw your initial investment tax-free. One of the people who took maximum advantage out of this is Peter Thiel. In 1999, Peter Thiel used his Roth IRA account to buy PayPal shares worth $2,000. He was given a special prize since he was one of the founders of the company. But by the end of 2019, his Roth IRA account has grown to $5 billion and he doesn't have to pay a dime in taxes on that money. Brilliant. Number four, try a business. If you have a family or financial responsibilities, maybe you should not take this path because there is a higher risk of losing your money if you're starting any business. But if you are in your 20s, then it could exactly be what you need. Whenever you invest in stocks or other assets, you have very little control over it. Other people decide what to do with your money. The growth of your money depends on how hard other people are going to work. But when you invest in a business that you have full control over, even if it turns out badly, you have the ability to put more hours, be more creative, and still do something about it. I know that $10,000 is not a lot of money when it comes to starting a business. Yes, when you have a big capital, it's much easier, but that's the point. $10,000 is enough to get you started, especially when it comes to something online. People start online businesses for a fraction of that amount, so you don't have any excuses. And finally, real estate. What? What can I do with just $10,000 in real estate? Before you drop a negative comment, listen to what I have to say. But if you still insist on doing something, just drop a like. That will help the channel greatly. What sets real estate apart from all other investments is that you can use leverage safely. Maybe with $10,000 it might be difficult to find something, but with $20,000 or $30,000 you can easily control properties worth $300,000 or $400,000. When you use leverage in Forex, stock market or crypto, your broker immediately closes your position if the price of the asset dips below the amount you have deposited. But when it comes to real estate, the bank cannot do that since you have a 30-year mortgage contract. On top of that, you can get your tenants to pay your mortgage. Yes, you don't always get a good deal in real estate, especially now. But judging by historical data, real estate prices in the long run always rise. They crashed in 2008, recovered by 2013 and have been rising since then. 
This means sooner or later rent prices will rise to a point where that property will be profitable and we did not even consider the fact that the value of that property will rise over time as well. If you could save $10,000, that means you are disciplined enough to double, triple or grow it by a much larger percentage. The most important thing is not to rush with your decision. Don't let the fear of missing out push you to waste that money. And now it's time to go and get your two free stocks from Webull if you use the link in the description or check out my special course on Skillshare that will teach you how to invest in the stock market like those rich people do. And most importantly, give this video a thumbs up if you want to help us and subscribe if you're new around here. Thanks for watching and until next time.